promises. Friends say that all the time. Promise me after we graduate, we're still gonna keep in touch, okay? Of course. Best friends forever. Husbands took an oath to me. And I promise to love you forever. To death do us part. And Christians say that to God all the time. Dear God, I promise you I'll never leave you. Even if there's earthquake, there's thunder, there's storm, I'll still stay with you. Very sweet, huh? But what we see in reality is that there's not a lot of people keeping their promises anymore. Because otherwise, where are the many best friends forever? Bro, why you don't meet me after we graduate? Why? Why? And why do people even break up? Why divorce? Didn't they say to one another they're gonna be together till death to their part? And didn't many Christians tell God in tears that they would never leave him or forsake him? Then why are there so many people who backslide? Promises makes us feel good. To the person receiving all these promises, we're getting back assurance or some form of guarantee. And to the person making these promises, we are getting back trust. Hey, like, lay long, lay long, ah. Three promises for ten dollar. However, when a promise is being broken, the trust is also being broken and everyone ends up feeling broken, angry, disappointed and sad. So, if a promise can be broken, then why do we even want to make them in the first place? I'm not going to talk about those bastards who make promises to get what they want. I'm talking about normal people like you and me, making promises because we want to. If we realise right, most of the time when we make promises, our intention is actually very simple. We just want the other party to feel happy. We really mean what we say, and sometimes we're even willing to sacrifice whatever it takes so we can keep that promise. So recently, some of my friends got married, and I just want to say I'm really very proud and happy for you that you found someone special. I always remember to guard this lifetime promise that you made to one another, and never let anyone or anything take that away. And I also know some of you watching this video might still be very affected by broken promises. Life shit happens, sometimes we break our promises, sometimes other people break ours. But having said that, I think it's really okay for you to be angry and or sad. But if you're struggling with forgiving this person, I have got two tips that might help. Tip number one, the person who broke your promise now was really sincere and serious when you first made it. Tip number two, it takes lots of courage to make a promise. Well, maybe something happened just in between here. Life happens. Shit happens. Sometimes things don't really go according to the way we plan it. So, just cheer up. Okay, let me give you a hug. Hello guys! Thank you for joining me today for my random thoughts. Sorry I didn't upload my video last week because the content was really crappy and I didn't want you to waste your time watching my video. Nonetheless, remember to be kind and nice to the people around you. See you guys next week. Bye bye.